the Chelsea shot stopper should be in goal in Russia shortly after Jorge Sampaoli announced it on Monday afternoon. His controversial final 23-man squad was dealt a great blow by the loss of Manchester United's Sergio Romero, his most capped goalkeeper who in 2014 already proved his mettle at the highest level with semi-final heroics at the expense of the Netherlands in a tense penalty shootout. Immediately attention turned to Franco Armani, who forced his way into Sampaoli's consideration off the back of blistering form for River Plate yet is untested outside of South America. On the other hand, though, Willy Caballero has been part of the furniture in Europe for a full 13 seasons now and both Argentine. Journalists and pundits alike have started to mount the case for the Chelsea keeper to be installed between the sticks for the homeland. After all, when Sam Howley travelled to Europe recently as part of a now famous two-week job that helped him draw his final conclusions on who to take to Russia and not the London leg of his trip saw him touching bases with Caballero while encouraging the veteran to not settle for being on the list and instead to fight to be a starter. While Armani will don La Albi Celeste's goalkeeper kit for the first time this coming Tuesday in a friendly against Haiti, this could be Caballero's third appearance for his country and will take place at a ground, La Bombonera, that he knows only too well after starting out his career with Boca Juniors at the turn of the millennium. Though Sampaoli is a specialist in turning on its axis and changing his mind, as claimed by Christian Grosso of La Nation, Armani's inexperience despite being a Libertadores champions with Colombia's Atletico Nacional in 2016 may seem him pip too. The post by Caballero, who himself won South America's Premier Continental Club competition in 2003 with Boca but has also gained invaluable tutelage from the likes of Pep Guardiola and Antonio Conte at Manchester City and Chelsea respectively. Argentina goalkeeper Sergio Romero has been ruled out of the World Cup through knee injury, cross mark Willy Caballero. And Franco Armani are now set to battle it out for the number one jersey. Region letter A H T T P S colon slash slash T dot C O slash N forty ones where one T nine O eight AM the twenty third of May eighteen if it is he that finally occupies the number one spot against Iceland in Moscow for his country's World Cup opener, Caballero, at thirty six years, eight months and nineteen days of age, will become Argentina's oldest goalkeeper. In the history of the tournament surpassing Antonio Roma, who was 34 in England in 1966, Roberto Abandazieri, 33 in Germany in 2006, Amadeo Carrizo, 32 in Sweden in 1958 and finally Philol who was on the cusp of his 32nd birthday in Spain in 1982. On the other hand, Armani, if given the nod for the aforementioned tie with Iceland, wouldn't be the only. Argentine goalkeeper to have participated in a World Cup without having never played for the national team. Before him there were two more, Oscar Zustari in Germany in 2006, and Hector Zelada, third choice at Mexico 86, who until now remains the only world champion from Argentina to have never played a minute of international football. With the traumatic departure of Romero, there now stands a three-horse race that includes Mexican outfit Tigres and the Guzmán. Yet, in the eyes of many, Caballero's age and experience have already guaranteed himself pole position. Want to read more football articles? Register with the Sportsman to personalize your news feed with your favorite sports and football.